and it will not help you in any way if you apologize to the true prophets for your wrongdoings because you even if they forgive you must excuse yourselves to yourselves in order to find forgiveness in yourselves, because truly it is only if you can forgive yourselves and respect venerability, before the truth and righteousness conscientiousness, to which you turn that you will find true forgiveness, because the only way you can liberate yourselves from your blame is if you truly live in the following of the truth. Consider, however, that it is difficult for you and it requires your entire effort and attention if you are seeking to liberate yourselves from your blame, because as you are falsifiers hypocrites, so you constantly search for the protection of people of your kind hypocrites, whom you close ranks with and demand indoors, non-right and forbid what is right. So you go along in non-right therefore it is recommended to you that you leave withdraw from the circle of the falsifiers hypocrites in its entirety entirely, and search for the path to the truth so that you truly turn yourselves to goodness and find in yourselves and outside of yourselves love and freedom, peace and consonance harmony, and so it goes well with you and everything. If you are falsifiers hypocrites, then you live in a shadow world hell, in yourselves, the flaming blazing, fire of which burns you up from the inside. So you curse yourselves and you punish yourselves constantly because you do not find in yourselves and outside of yourselves any true love, any freedom or any consonance harmony, and no peace, just as it was with all those who came before you and were malefactors against ones who neglected their duty to the truth of the laws and recommendations of the fertilization of life creation. Truly, even if you are mighty in power influence, Amongst people of your kind human beings, as unfair ones, irresponsible ones, and non-righteous ones, conscienceless ones, and if you have many goods and riches and children, you will enjoy your fate for a brief time only, because you constantly hunt after new goods and riches, and your children take paths that do not please you and bring you grief and worries because you spoil them with your goods and your riches and no longer let them be granted any good guidance education and as unfair ones irresponsible ones and non-righteous ones conscienceless ones you take delight in idle feeble speeches although your works yield nothing therefore you are lost ones in everything that you do you unfair ones irresponsible ones and non-righteous ones conscienceless ones have not been reached by the tidings, like those who came before you and did the same equivalent, as you do and as the true prophets came to them and brought them the message of the truth. So you will also have the real truth pointed out instructed to you by the true prophets, so that you shall not do anything that is non-right. Truly, you, man and woman and child, you shall be a true friend to the other, and therefore you shall demand and courage yourselves to do the right thing and to ban what is non-right, so that you all undertake what is rightful and show pity to yourselves in such a way that you eschew everything that is evil and unfair irresponsible, and non-righteous conscienceless. If you as man, woman and child, prove yourselves to be ones who are knowing of the truth, fair ones responsible ones, and righteous ones conscientious ones, then there will be gardens of love and freedom within you, in which streams of peace and of consonance harmony, and the greatest happiness flow, in which you will find pleasure. And if you, man, woman and child, are connected to the teaching of the prophets, then you are no falsifiers hypocrites, and therefore you are not at strife against the prophets and the teaching of truth, the teaching of spirit, the teaching of life as you others amongst you, who are unfair ones, irresponsible ones, do in a loveless way because you live in a shadow world hell, and you have created yourselves a disparaging disnerable destiny decision, for acting in non-right. Truly, you unfair ones, irresponsible ones, and non-righteous ones, conscienceless ones, you lie to and slander calumniate, people of your kind fellow human beings, and you do evil things, conduct indubitably slanderous speeches. Do not bother about the truth and then you swear that you have not said anything truly, 
you have not accepted the truth and are only brooding on what you cannot achieve in an honest way, and therefore you nourish yourselves with hatred against people of your kind fellow human beings, who have come into goods and riches through their own power yet you do not regret your wrong actions but rather punish yourselves painfully with further hatred although it would be better for you with remorse because you would create a world in yourselves which would be your friend and helper for a good existence life, in equitableness, fairness, and love, in inner freedom, in inner peace and in consonance harmony. Truly, if you would make a bond with the truth and turn yourselves to the truthfulness of the laws and recommendations of the fertilization of life creation, then you could knowingly consciously draw love from a fullness abundance of fruitfulness of the primal power creation so that you do not need to search for alms gifts of life which you do not find because you are ones who have contempt for the truth unfair ones are responsible ones and non-righteous ones conscienceless ones and truly if you could in your inequity and fairness knowingly consciously draw love out of the fullness abundance of the fruitfulness of the primal power creation then you would be stinting with it and want to have everything just for yourself alone without giving any to people of your kind fellow human beings because you have an aversion to them you unfair ones irresponsible ones and non-righteous ones conscienceless ones you pay back all kind heartedness that is given to you with falseness hypocrisy and with evil deeds but consider that one day you will meet the truth with might to which you must give your promise that henceforth you will only follow the path of equitableness fairness, and no longer lie, slander calumniate, or be inequitable irresponsible. Truly, you unfair ones irresponsible ones, and non-righteous ones conscienceless ones, place your trust in the true prophets because they know the secrets of the laws and recommendations of the fertilization of life creation and therefore you shall build on the confidential counsels talks of the true prophets because they are the best knowers of what is hidden of the laws and recommendations of the appearance nature and of the fertilization of life creation and you and fair ones irresponsible ones and non-righteous ones conscienceless ones do not rebuke the ones who are knowing of the truth, the fair ones responsible ones, and not the righteous ones conscientious ones, who voluntarily and in honesty give alms gifts, for the poor and needy and do not disdain and ridicule those who cannot give any alms gifts, because they only have the earnings from their work and have to live off this. If you and fair ones irresponsible ones, and non-righteous ones conscienceless ones, want to become fair responsible and righteous conscientious then create forgiveness reconciliation in yourselves and then also ask forgiveness from those whom you have ridiculed because it is only through finding forgiveness reconciliation in yourselves that you can take the path rightfully if you do not wish to remain behind persist in the old way and not continue to live in non-right then you are not allowed to remain behind the back the teaching of the prophets and sit still learn nothing and remain inclined towards ready for what is without law and without recommendation and if you do not incline bend towards the truth in its entirety entirely then you will laugh little and have to cry a lot as reward for what you acquire of evil in yourselves you shall never turn yourselves away from the truth of the laws and recommendations of the fertilization of life creation, and never fight battle against the truth as an enemy, because otherwise you will remain behind not come closer to the truth. And do not be resentful if people of your kind fellow human beings have done terrible things, rather forgive them and let everything be forgotten when it sinks into the past so that you do not bring it back to the light of day anew, and you are not reproachful and criminating, if there is no necessity for it and also do not be resentful if a person of your kind fellow human being, dies, and do not slander him, just as you shall not defile a grave either consider, that if someone has died then he can no longer do anything in his defense, therefore it is a disgracefulness defilement, to slander the deceased or to defile their graves.